I believe too. And with that, there's only one thing left to say. Let's rev it up! All right, guys, welcome back. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys uh, another hero build, but it's gonna be the synchro variant. I had a request by uh, Muhammad Gagas Yudhisthira. Uh, he posted a, he, he made a post on Facebook in one of the groups that I'm in, and he just, uh, he, he uh, I, thank you. I was flattered by all, all the comments you, you said. Oh, that the compl the compliments are just cool. Uh, but yeah, so um, I'm gonna just show you guys my take on it, because I um. I knew eventually I would have, uh, I would consider moving to synchro to a synchro version or to a very synchro variant of heroes because it's I mean synchros I, I, I just I just like synchros but um, the I guess one of the most efficient ways to do it and make them work together is with Sokin which is what what some of the builds are out now that they utilize um, Sokin and I was going I think I was going up against um, Against uh, Synchro, <laughs> I think that was I think that was my build. I don't know, I don't know, but that was uh, that's a bit of a very dark line the dweller. Oh, but see, uh, like the interaction with with the the drill guy, Red Resonator, and Malicious is just so cool. So it's pretty much you have two ways of going to so into Sulkin and to Ultimaya. Uh, yeah, on the, yeah, on Tamaya. So pretty much you either go Red Resonator uh, into Armageddon Knight, and then you send Malicious that way. Or you open, or you can um, open up a uh, red resonator, a uh, drill guy, and malicious. So it, it gives you a higher chance of going into um, into what's it called uh, Ultimaya, and that's always better. That's always good to have more than one option to go into your ace, which is that's pretty much what it is. You like Dark Law alone, like it's a big hinder for most decks right now. And then to top that off with um, Ultimaya and be able to have a crystal wing out there like efficiently and consistently, it's it can be it can be a bit intimidating, especially if their hand is subpar and then, like they can't really manage those two monsters. And uh, it, it's just it's just crazy. But like, I really like the 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 drill guy interaction with the red resonator. It, it, it it's just really cool. Like he can, he can sp like even if, even if you you um if you open a multiple drill guys, it's fine. But like I don't know, it, it's just. I don't know. Like I, I've seen, I, I saw a couple of builds. I saw. I, I want to go research um, what people were up to, like, because they've been playing more than I have. So I had to like get some kind of an, an idea. So then I was, I was trying to make it as basic and as as easy as user friendly as I possibly could. Because I know like Dark Synchro, it's uh, it's a bit um, complicated. So some of you um, have a bit of an issue with it. So so that's why with with when I. Uh, I tried to, when I took this this task on I wanted to be able to make sure that it was easy play because it, like you, you don't want to like I know sometimes you don't like not everyone enjoys like having to do the intricate plays yet where you have to think it like it, I, it can be a bit much sometimes it could be like some people just want to just play and they, they, want, they want to do something like just pretty straightforward pretty basic and there's, there's nothing wrong with that um, uh, that's just like I, I just like my style too. Like, I, I, I like because the more versatile a deck is, the more it can get you out of certain situations. Where whereas if it's a linear deck, um, it, it can do whatever it can consistently, but it has trouble there. It has it, it can't pull off these really awkward plays where you can like get yourself out of out of any situation, which is what I like. Because it, I, I don't know, I, that's just something I'm used to. I'm, I'm I, I like to have options, and that's always good. And I. I this one, I guess it's kind of a little bit of both. It's a bit linear, but there's a, a few here and there little scenarios where you can kind of outplay your opponent, which makes a difference in every duel. Like if you can find an unpredictable uh, scenario that your opponent can't read, that's what normally wins duels. Or sometimes it's, it's just, sometimes you just can't do anything about it. Like, which is which was bringing me to the, this scenario where it can do like um, one of my friends. He mentioned this about uh, heroes being predictable, and they they, they know how to, they know what you're gonna end up with. But sometimes that's that it's it, that's the that's the, pretty much the point that um, it, they they know like you, you know what you're getting yourself into. You you know what certain cards are gonna give you, and it's either they're gonna be able to stop that or they're not. And that's what's good about I guess um, this this build is. 
you like you it's pretty simple to pick up the combos and you can easily just understand okay if i draw this and this that gives me this and having that consistently is is what makes a deck good because if, if like if if you play a deck and it's not consistent that means it's slow and top tier decks are fast because they're consistent so you got to make sure you can be able, you're, you're able to match that or slow them down which is how you um you can compete because you that's what anti-meta is that's what uh, uh pretty much traps do they're they're meant to slow down the the faster deck uh while your deck tries to keep up and um that's just I don't know. I, I like. I, I don't know. I, I just. I just. So far, I, I'm liking how this is going. So far, I put the deck list at the end, so you, so you guys can go ahead and try it out. And you're pretty much. The whole point of the deck is pretty much re racing to get to Soken, to Ultimaya, and on. And then uh, hopefully on the way, you manage to get a Dark out there as well, because you pretty much you want to end up with these two guys. You want to end up with a, uh, with um, uh, Dark Law and and. Um, um, crystal and because that's pretty that's pretty intimidating those, those, those serve as your traps essentially instead of you opening up strikes that that's pretty much a strike on legs and a macro on legs as well so that's really really cool and yeah I don't know I, I, like Joe I, I saw some builds and some of them uh, they weren't playing um, they were I think they were playing celestial and like I don't know. I was I was going back and forth on that card because it's a bit situational. If I if I read it correctly, I think it's like another like a bubble man type type of thing where if you have um no if you have no um no um lost my train of thought there. Like if you if you have no um damn what was I gonna say? That's what makes it a, so that's so bad about cutting these these videos. I have to like uh, I have to stop and then and then go to the next clip. And then, oh my god! I I'll remember I'll remember I remember I'll go back to it. But like yeah, um, I'll try to explain a little bit more at the end so you so you get a feel and I can actually see and explain the cards where I'm, what I'm trying to say. Because. Going back and forth on this editing thing is, is giving me a headache right now. <laughs> I'm not a headache, but it's, it's getting me getting me sidetracked. And losing my I'm losing my train of thought because I'm trying to I'm trying to trying to like pause it and then uh, kind of go back and forth like multi multitask, and it's, it gets a bit much sometimes. But yeah, that's that's pretty much insane. Like having uh, crystal void auger dark law that's intimidating, man. Like like that pretty much shuts down all your grave. Think that um, you have a chance, like, like oh no, and ain't. Oh, see, you can do little, tr little neat tricks like this, and sometimes these these little tricks, like if you like, they make all the difference. Like, look at this the interaction, like dun dun dun. Then so that's that's two routes. You can either go res resonator, Armageddon Knight, and then so on, and then just end with that. And then it's good because you can just mass change the the malicious, and that's really really cool. Because <laughs> like sometimes you can at the end you just like do it on their turn. With the malicious, and I'll put the deck list now. Hang on. Okay, so here, here's the deck list. Okay, so pretty much it's 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 pretty straightforward. It's pretty basic. There's three of everything, mainly like three malicious, three drill, guy, three knight. Because that's pretty much what th that's the main thing you want variation of cards you want to open. So you either want to open up red and knight, or red and this, and then hopefully have this somehow. Because it's easy access. Because you can like like you said in the last game, you can um pitch him and add that if you have this and then just go go soak in that because it's, it's pr pretty much the whole point of the synchro uh hero type um of deck is you pretty much want to want to get to him because with him gives you any of these dragons for free pretty much or you can just go into them manually and just do it the old-fashioned way where you actually synchro into them but the simple fact that you can just go into this guy and and just get any of these just makes it really really cool and um, so yes, he played three malicious, three um, drill guy, three um, Armageddon knight. I was going back and forth on on uh, this because this was the bubble man, but the, when I was trying it, it just it was it put me in these awkward scenarios like oh man, I, it, and plus it's not a dark, so it, it didn't really go. So I I, I, I I just I was like okay, nah, I think plague is more important, so I ended up cutting plague, so it worked out much better. And there's some people play diamond dude, but I think diamond dude's like a like oh and like. I don't know. It's, I, I don't think it's worth playing, in my in my opinion. I, I don't think it's worth playing. And same thing with Celestia. Okay, let me. When you can banish this card. So it 
So print okay, so you have to have no cards in your hand and accept the turn this card was sent to the graveyard. Oh shit, I just took it out. <laughs> yeah, but I I just felt like I don't know, I, I just I just felt like this this was enough to to where um Wait, no, let me let me read that card again. Hang on. It's actually pretty good. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I'm not, nah, but I, I, I guess you could put one. But I, I like how it flows like this. I guess you can cut something else. I don't know. Uh, but I just feel like this is this is the rough draft. This is what the basic skeleton and what you the the, the blueprint. Uh, sort of, uh, if, you, if you if you may, of how to get this thing consistent as possible. And um, so the extra deck. This I was gonna put this as an omega, but it's uh. That'll just push it over the edge, having crystal and Omega. That's like almost 100 bucks right there. So that's like, yeah, so uh, uh, Spark Dragon is good enough too. Like it, it can protect your your your, so, your crystal like it did, or your your um, Dark Law. Now I was playing Rare Fish, and oh, there's so many times where it comes up. But I was going, I'm actually, I wasn't sure if I was going. Uh, I should put this, but then I just I just cut that for the Spark. And then of course you have your fusions. Um, and then of course your, your your these two are your board breakers, and dwellers dwellers just always good. Like it's you just need to play. And then of course this is for those scenarios where you need to like get out of certain like it's just a tough spot. So that's where that's at. And then I I tried them this, but I wanted to make it to a point where let's say they ban Livewitter, then I don't want you to be like oh the deck's not good anymore because the Livewitter's banned. So yeah, I ended up cutting this, and then I was I was I'm thinking you can main my vanities, I think, like you can cut something, but I think twin twister is really important because you back row you just hate back row, so you don't want anything stopping you. So maybe cut um maybe like you can customize it to however ratios you feel comfortable, but I think you, you it, it'd be neat to play this because it goes it has good uh, it goes good with spark dragon. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it. Hi right, Muhammad, uh, here you go. I, I hope this was good enough and change it up to however you feel. And uh, the, the rest of you too, if you go ahead, try it out. Let me know. Let me know what you think. And yeah, <laughs> give a like if you liked it. And that's just gonna be it. Thank you for watching.